Really? We're doing that? Yeah. Wow. We're doing that. Okay. Um. Where have my add-ons gone and what the F is going on? Let's talk about it. You might be thinking, who's this chick? What authority does she have to tell me about my add-ons and my life and my game? It's just me, you know? I know things. I've been a nerd my whole life. That gives me nerd authority. I'm a nerd authoritarian. So buckle up. Let's do this. I promise I won't lead you astray. It might be a little shallow in the instructions, but I have the answer as to where the add-ons have gone. Okay? And that's important. So, you're minding your own business. You're an avid WoW player that maybe just is really committed on the weekends. You have your own life. You're not obsessed. You log on to World of Warcraft and you think, why does everything look effed up? Where are my add-ons? Where's deadly boss mods? How do I know what's going on? How much damage am I doing? What's going on? Where's my meters? What's happening? This beautiful dashboard of beauty of add-ons that I have created is now destroyed and gone, which I'm used to because Blizzard does this to me all the time. And by Blizzard, I mean Twitch and all of that fun stuff. So today, guys, I'm here to just shed a little light on what maybe happened to your add-ons. And don't cry, don't panic. Just buckle up, buttercup. Let's just talk about it, okay? A lot of our information, it's fleeting on the internet. Nobody really knows. No one's given solutions. No one's identifying problem. That's a big deal. I'm here to identify the problem and find a solution. The problem, the add-ons are gone. The solution, a new add-on manager. Boom, done. Thank me later. So what does that mean? Twitch decided to just sell CurseForge. And it was like, bye y'all, see you later. That is your add-on manager, which means you can no longer log on to Twitchy Twitch Twitch and just put your add-ons in and have a good day, okay? You need a new add-on manager. Kind of like when CurseForge wasn't owned by Twitch, but now different because it's called something completely different. Enter Overwolf, which is who Twitch sold CurseForge to. Why? I don't know, I'm not in the business of video game politics. Maybe later, you know, maybe tomorrow. Anyways, the launch of Shadowlands. It's bringing a lot of shaky, shaky, shake. Along with that level squish where you thought you were a big, bad level 120, you're no longer it. You ain't it. Nobody's it because they've squished everything. So what does that mean for you and your little baby, baby add-ons? What do you do? How do you live your life? What Do you have to illegally download these things? Like it's, what was that thing called? Uh, editing Naomi here. It was called Napster. And if you were staring at me like like I was, I was like, oh, it's called Napster. It's Napster. And if you were not born in 89 or 90 or 91, you're probably very, very confused. But back in the day, kids, we had to download things illegally on Napster. And then we had to do all this crazy stuff to just listen to music or do weird things. You don't have to do that anymore. Enter CurseForge. It's not illegal. It's not illegal at all. And you can have it for the very simple price of zero 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 dollars ninety nine zero zero dollars okay so you have choices i'm not even going to consider managing your add-ons on your own that's just not that's not where it's at no one wants to do that no one wants to update the files pull them all find the locations da, 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 da. we need an add-on manager which means we need to learn we need to learn how to use Overwolf, okay? You're going to go to overwolf.com. And I've just gotten here, and it's a little more confusing than I had expected. Overwolf, gamers, that's me. Download Overwolf. I can do that. Download Overwolf. Open. Okay. We've downloaded Overwolf. It looks like it somehow connects to your Discord. Already confused. Welcome to Overwolf. Thanks. Downloading. It's loading. I like the UI. It's beautiful. Sort of. I don't like that I had to download something else. Hello, App Store. Here you can discover apps to help you rock your game. Okay, so now they're calling them apps. Blech. I see. 
you have to go to the wolf program and then you have to download curseforge oh this is so annoying and now curseforge is an app inside overwolf welcome to curseforge on overwolf thank you for joining the curseforge alpha together we wish to make modding easy and even more fun that's the hope eh yeah, yeah, protect my privacy. By that, we know that's a lie. It's fine. Mod, blah, blah, blah. Let's shape CurseForge together. That's the part where it undoes the lie of privacy two slides before, just so we're clear. Let's the game begin. Oh, load. Okay, this is great news, y'all. Okay, everything is still here. Don't panic. They're all still here. So I peeked in my add on. Every all the good guys are here. Deadly boss mods are here. The question is when I download these all over again, do I have to reformat them? And I'm going to venture to bet that the answer is yes. So, what you're going to do here's the problem my add ons are gone. Here's the solution you're going to go to Overwolf. You're going to download Overwolf. Once you do that, you're going to go to apps. You're going to go to CurseForge. You're going to download that guy. And then you're going to open that in Overwolf. And then you can download your add-ons. And that will solve all of your problems. If you have any questions, ask them below. Because that's what I'm here to do. If you like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, that's totally up to you. But I normally don't make content like this, and I don't plan on making that much in the future. But you never know, you know? I'll catch you guys on Twitch. Y'all are great. Have a great today. See you later, alligators. Oh, guys and gals. You know when they fuck with your stuff? I don't like it.